Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create, and help others to do the same. I am also a booth owner, and recently I expanded my space and my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. My space doesn't really have walls, so I'm building displays. And I heard from so many of you, you want to see how I do it. So this whole video, I'm going to show you how I'm building a center display out of found objects to help my booth have a little bit more character. One of my passions is to save old stuff. And for my booth, I am going to use found objects to help me make my displays. The motto for my business is salvage, repurpose, create. Wouldn't look good for me to have a whole bunch of new stuff in my booth. Recently, I built an entrance for my new booth space. To watch that video, you can click on the link above, but the response from all of you was overwhelming. You wanted more details on how I built it. So here's the video for you. I'm building another display within my booth and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let me show you where the new display will be built. As you enter my booth, I really like this area that customers can walk around to view everything in my booth, but there's not a lot of permanent walls, as you can tell. I just kind of threw two doors in place. I would like a more permanent structure here so I could hang more items and so it would look a little bit more appealing for my customers. I believe in using what I have and I have two doors already in the space so I'm going to add a few more doors and maybe a ladder. I had also just found this door as a curbside treasure but it had a hole through the center so I did a quick patch job on it so I could use it in my display. The weather was way too cold to work outside. I worked indoors and also slapped on a quick coat of paint. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please take a quick second and click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell for notifications. It really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. The first step was to clear out the space. Luckily, my mom joined me and helped me out. We also wanted to check to see if the doors were the same height. But I needed another door. Luckily, I have a bunch of spares in my booth, so I found one of similar height. The original plan was to kind of make a letter H out of the doors. We would have two side by side in the center and two on the end. When you're building anything in your booth, one of the first things you need to make sure is that it's gonna be sturdy. And so you need to use the right hardware. I use a bunch of L brackets and different sizes of screws. If my doors still had hinges, I could have also hinged them together and that would have been another option. But since they didn't, I did the L brackets. I also placed L brackets on the bottom of the doors and I chose the really large ones to help make it stand on both sides. I also used a flat bracket to hold the double doors together. Boards of wood can also work. Next, I placed one of my vintage ladders over the temporary structure, just to kind of get an idea of how it would look. And with all great plans, we decided we really didn't like how this looked at all. Instead, I felt that the two center doors should be pushed all the way to the back to create like a letter C and have the ladder hanging above. That way, the one side would look a lot different than the other. So we moved the hardware and reattached it. I also did add a scrap piece of wood to secure the two center doors. So which do you like better? If you're not sure, wait till the end of the video till you see this completely decorated. It really does make a difference. I also want to say if we would have had more time, I think I would have painted the doors a little bit more, but we really didn't have it. The mall was quite busy and open while we were trying to do all of this work. 
Now to level up the display so we can hang that ladder across the top. To do this, I installed a 2x4 board and screwed it right into the door underneath. We then placed the ladder back on top of the structure and I got to get out my favorite connectors of all. These actually hold pipes in place, but they are great for your booth. They are a little bit flexible and they can bend wherever they're needed. They really worked well for holding the ladder in place. I also added a few more screws to the ladder. Ladders are just great for a booth because you can hang so many things from them. I also had planned to cut small boards of wood and place them in the corners on the top of the structure to make it more secure. But this thing was not moving and they were not needed. Now it was time for the redecorating and once again I want to remind you that customers were in the mall so we were just quickly putting things back together. I'm sure I will spend a little bit more time making things even nicer. What do you think of how the display turned out? Let's take another look at the final product. I think this is exactly what the space needed. It's a little bit more sturdy and of course I can play around with paint and display and all of the things, but I think this is a great space and it really helps people to not see all of the things in my booth right away so they can kind of walk around and find treasures. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope I've inspired you to maybe do something a little different in your booth and to reuse those common materials. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.